there is a relation between tan and cot tan uh, sorry tan and sin theta and cos theta so tan theta is sin theta by cos theta and as cot is the reciprocal of tan it will be cos theta by sin theta so that's the tan theta and cot theta the sine cos tan cosec sec and cot and their relations and based on that we did few questions last day let's revise one question and then we'll move to the trigonometrical ratio of particular angle so this is a question given which says that cot value is given 15 by 8 we have to find out 2 plus 2 sin theta 1 minus sin theta by 1 plus cos theta 2 minus 2 cos theta so we will draw a triangle any tri any right angle triangle let's name it abc and when the b is the right angle now cot theta is 15 by 8 so let's consider this is as theta so according to this uh, triangle this will be the opposite side this will be the adjacent side and this will be the hypotenuse now cot theta in order to find out the cot theta it will be as it is the reciprocal of tan theta it will be adjacent side by opposite side so that means it will be bc by ab and that is given 15 by 8 so we can simply take bc equals 15k and ab equals 8k So if BC equals 15K, AB equals 8K, we have to first find, figure out the AC. So AC is the hypotenuse, it will be root over of <coughs> AB square plus BC square. It will be root over of AB square plus BC square. So that means it will be root over of uh, AB square is 68, 8K whole square, so 64K square and 15K square, so it is 225K square. So that means it will be root over of, if you add 289K square, which is nothing but 17K whole square and root of that so it is 17 k so the answer will be 17 k for the length of the hypotenuse now once we got the ac we can now find out the sine and cos theta sine theta will be we know that it is opposite side ab by the hypotenuse AC. So it will be 8K divided by 17K. So it is 8 by 17. Cos theta equals adjacent by hypotenuse. So it will be BC by AC will be BC by AC so it is 15k by 17k so that means it will be 15 upon 17 now we will take the uh, given expression and put the values there so we'll take this given expression and put the values there so given expression is 2 plus 2 cos theta 
into 1 minus sin theta divided by sorry it is 2 plus 2 sin theta given so it will be 2 plus 2 sin theta by 1 plus cos theta into 2 minus 2 cos theta so if you take 2 common it is 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta and if you do the same thing you take 2 common from here it will give you 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta. Now, we need to put the values there now. So, it will be 2 into 1 plus we got the sine theta value as 8 by 17. So 1 plus 8 by 17 into 1 minus 8 by 17 by 2. Okay, 2 to get cancelled. So we will cancel it. 1 minus 15 by 17 into 1 minus 15 by 17 so that gives you 1 square minus 64 by 289 divided by 1 square into 225 by 289 so that gives you 289 289 minus 64 divided by 289 minus 225 by 64 289 minus 225 by 280 so 289 29 get cancelled it's basically 225 divided by 64 that will be the answer so that's what we have in the basic trigonometry and in uh, using the trigonometrical ratios here we haven't used any particular angle we use the theta to represent the angle but what if we have the values of the angle like 30 degree 60 degree 45 degree so here we have a chart which we should memorize that actually provides you all the values of all six trigonometrical ratios for some particular angles the particular angles will be 0 30 45 60 and 90 for all these values, it will give you some uh, values of the sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosec theta, sec theta, and tan theta. You have to memorize all of them. For example, if I want to find out the value of sine 30, it will come half. If I want to find out the sec 60, it will be 2. If, you, if we want to find out the tan uh, 90, it will be not defined. The value of tan 90, cot 0, cosec 0 and sec 90 are not defined. Otherwise, in other cases, we have the values of these trigonometrical ratios. So what type of, uh, this is a table which we have to memorize in exam. They will not be providing you this table. So you have to memorize all these data. So what are the uh, questions we can expect from this table? 
for example the question is given you have to find out the value of this question it's given tan a plus b is root 3 tan a minus b is 1 by root 3 and it is given 0 degree plus uh, a plus b value is between 0 to 90 and a is greater than b we have to figure out the value of a and b so it's given tan of a plus b is root 3 So we know that root 3 is the value of uh, tan 60 degree. Tan 60 degree is the value, uh, root 3 is the value of tan 60 degree. So in place of root 3, we can simply write it as tan 60 degree. So from here, we can find out the value of a plus b by comparing tan a plus b with tan 60 degree. I can write a plus b is 60 degree. But once I'm writing this, I also need to mention that 0 degree less than equals to a plus b less than equals to 90. This is what I should mention. Now that gives you a plus b as 60 degree. Now we have to use the other equation to get the value of tan a minus b. So tan a minus b is given 1 by root 3 and that is the value of tan 30 degree. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So we will do tan 30 here. We will do tan 30 here. So that gives you, if you compare both sides, a plus b equals 30 degree. a plus b equals 30 degree. That gives you. Now this is the equation 1 we are taking and here we should write a is greater than b and this is the equation 2 we have. Now equation 1 and equation 2, if we solve, I should get the value of a plus b. Now we are going to add the equation, equation 1, add it with equation 2. It gives you 2a equals 90 degree. So that means a equals 45 degree. And if you substitute the value of a in any one of the equation, you are getting b equals to 15 degree. So A is 45, B is 15. That will be the solution. Those will be the values of A and B. A is 45 degree and B is 15 degree. Now, so this is one equation, one question which we can solve using the values or trigonometrical table of standard angle. We have few more questions, something like this. For example, uh, it's given we need to figure out the value of cot square 30 degree minus 2 cos square 30 degree minus 3 by 4 6 square 45 degree, 6 square 45 degree, plus 1 fourth cosec square 30 degree. This is what I need to find out. So all these data can be drawn from the table. Cot square 30 degree. So what is the value of cot 30? The value of cot 30 is root 3. So we have cot square 30 degree. So we will do root 3 whole square. Then we have uh, cosec square, sorry, cos square 30 degree. So what is the value of cos square 30 degree? Cos square 30 degree is 3 by 2 according to the table given. This 
so this is the table which we need so minus 2 root 3 by 2 whole square minus 3 by 4 6 square 45 degree so what is the value of 6 6 45 that is 1 uh, that is root 2 so it is root 2 whole square plus 1 by 4 cosec square 30 so cosec square 30 is 2 so we will write 2 square so that means it is 3 minus 2 into 3 divided by 4 minus 3 by 4 times 2 plus 1 by 4 times 4 4 4 get cancelled this cancel this cancel to 2 so we are having the answer 3 minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 plus 1 so 3 minus uh, 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 is 3 plus 1 so the answer is coming out to be 1. So this is how we can use the trigonometrical tables. Let's go for the next question. So next question is given. This is one other application type uh, question on the trigonometrical table where it is asking using the formula cos a equals to 1 plus cos 2a by 2 under root find the value of cos 30 degree if it is given cos 60 is half so it is already given cos 60 equals to half we need to find out the value of cos 30 degree so we are considering that angle A equals 30 degree. Let angle A equals 30 degree. So we need to figure out cos 30 degree. That means we need to figure out cos A. And cos 60 degree will be nothing but cos 2A whose value is already given as half. So I have to, I can substitute the value of cos 2a into this equation as half and can figure out the value of cos a. So let's write down the cos a formula which is given under root of 1 plus cos 2a by 2. So that gives you 1 plus half which is the value of cos 2a divided by 2 that gives you 3 by 4 so which you simplify you will be getting root 3 by 2 which is even actually the value of cos 30 degree so this is the value of cos 30 degree so that will be the answer but using the given formula and the given data so that's what we have in the trigonometrical uh, questions based on trigonometrical table either they will give you, give you the an expression will be asking you to find out the value using the table which you have to memorize the table obviously the table will not be given or else they can give you this tricky question from the exercise where you have to use the given formulas to figure out the values Next we have in the trigonometry the trigonometrical identities from where we used to get the most of the questions. Trigonometrical identities, I think we last day we also did uh, few trigonometrical identities. Just let us revise them once. The first one was sine theta into its reciprocal cosec theta is equals to 1 in the same way cos theta into its reciprocal into its reciprocal sec 
theta is equals to 1 tan theta into its reciprocal equals to 1 these are the three basic things we should memorize also we should memorize that tan theta equals sine theta by cos theta we should memorize that cot theta is equals to reciprocal of tan so it will be cos theta by sine theta and the uh, the main trigonometrical identities were sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1 <clears throat> so from this particular identity even you can write sine theta is equals to <clears throat> sine theta is equals to root over of 1 minus cos square theta in case you sometimes need that cos theta in the same way is equals to under root of 1 minus sin square theta. The same thing follows. Sec square theta equals to 1 plus tan square theta. So from where even you can write sec square theta minus tan square theta equals 1. The last one was uh, cosec square theta equals 1 plus cot square theta. So cosec square theta minus cot square theta equals 1. So these are the things which we can memorize. Based on these trigonometrical identities, where the main trigonometrical identities were these three and rest of the things and deduction of that uh, trigonometrical identities, we have few questions which we should solve. The first question that we have is we have to prove 2 cos square theta plus 2 cot theta uh, 2 by 1 plus cot square theta equals to 1 uh, equals to 2 which we have to prove. So first of all we will put the value of 1 plus cot square theta. 2 cos square theta plus 2 by we are talking about the left hand side 1 plus cos square theta means cosec square theta so 2 cos square theta plus 1 by cosec square theta that means even reciprocal of cosec which will be uh, sine square theta now you just take two common, so it is cos square theta plus sine square theta, which will give you two times one, which will give you one. So these are the first question where we can even use the trigonometrical identities to solve it. So, based uh, in, in the same way, the next question is given. Prove that sine minus cosec theta into cos minus sec theta equals to 1 by tan plus cot theta. So we have to convert everything in terms of tan and cot. So sine theta is given sine theta minus cosec theta into cos theta minus sec theta. So how we can solve it? We can convert it first of all everything into sine and cos. 
So we can write it as sine theta minus 1 by sine theta into cos theta minus 1 by cos theta. Because cosec is 1 by sine and sec is 1 by cos. cos. So that gives you sine square theta minus 1 by sine theta if you take the LCM. And here it gives you cos square theta minus 1 by cos theta if you take the LCM. So sine square theta minus 1 is minus cos square theta by sine theta into minus sine square theta by cos theta. Now, we can simply cancel out uh, the sine and sine square cos and cos square and we will be getting negative negative also get cancelled. So we will be getting from this much we will be getting cos theta and from this much we will be getting sin theta cos theta into sin theta so this will be the LHS of the question now let's do the RHS of the question which is given 1 by tan theta plus cot theta. So what we should do, we should convert the tan and cot in terms of sine and cos. So 1 by sine theta by cos theta plus cos theta by sin theta. So that gives you 1 by, if you take the LCM, sin theta cos theta sin square theta plus cos square theta. So we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 and this will go in the numerator. So we are actually having sine theta into cos theta by 1 which will give you sine theta into cos theta. So you can see that left hand side and right hand side both after simplification we got sine theta into cos theta which means the left hand side equals to right hand side. which means left hand side equals to right hand side. Let's go for the next question which is given. sin theta plus cosec theta whole square plus cos theta plus sec theta whole square we, we have to prove it is 7 plus tan square theta plus cot square theta. So let's take the left hand side and simplify it and then we will try to simplify the right hand side. Everything should be converted in terms of sine and uh, in terms of tan and cot. So we will use a plus b whole square formula for this one and even for this one. So the left hand side will give me sine square theta plus cosec square theta plus 2 sin theta into cosec theta. 
प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस सेक स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस टू कॉस थीटा सेक थीटा नाउ साइन थीटा एंड कॉस थीटा गेट कैंसिल कॉस एंड सेक गेट कैंसिल एंड साइन स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा टुगेदर बिकम्स वन प्लस टू प्लस टू प्लस कोसेक स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस कॉट स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस सेक स्क्वायर थीटा दैट्स व्हाट वी आर हैविंग आफ्टर सिंपलीफिकेशन सो फाइव कोसेक स्क्वायर थीटा कैन बी रिटेन एज एज आई एज वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट इट इनटू टेन एंड कॉट सो कोसेक स्क्वायर थीटा कैन बी रिटेन एज वन प्लस टेन स्क्वायर थीटा इनटू वन प्लस cot square theta so 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives you 2 2 plus 5 gives you 7 so it's 7 plus tan square theta plus cot square theta so that will be the even the right hand side given So it's proved. Let's go for the next question. This is asking us to prove one plus cot theta plus cosec theta into one plus tan theta plus sec theta is equals to one. Okay. So what we can do, we have cot, cosec, tan, and sec. We will try to convert everything in terms of sine and cos. So we'll try to convert everything in terms of sine and cos. So let's try. So the left hand side I'm taking. It can be written as one plus. cos theta by sin theta minus 1 by sin theta into 1 plus cos theta by sin theta by cos theta because it's tan so 1 plus sin theta by cos theta Plus one by cos theta. Okay, that will give me. If you take the LCM now, that will give me sine theta, sine theta plus cos theta minus one, and this side cos theta. cos theta plus sin theta plus 1 now in the numerator if you apply a plus b a plus b into a minus b formula you can write it as sin theta plus cos theta whole square minus 1 by sin theta Into cos theta. Now we will apply the whole square formula in the numerator. It will give you sine square theta plus cos square theta plus two sine theta cos theta minus one. By sine theta into cos theta. So sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. One and this minus one get cancelled. So we are having two sine theta into cos theta by sine theta into cos theta. It get cancelled. It gives you two. 
as the answer. So this is how we can prove this particular question, which is equals to right hand side. Next question is given. sin theta plus cos theta by sin theta minus cos theta plus sin theta minus cos theta by sin theta plus cos theta equals to this we have to so in the left hand side we will take the LCM the NCM will be sin theta plus uh, sin theta minus cos theta is given into sin theta plus cos theta in the numerator we will be having sin theta plus cos theta whole square plus sin theta minus cos theta whole square that will give you 2 into sin square theta plus cos square theta by sin theta minus cos theta sin square theta minus cos square theta now so that means we are having 2 by sin square theta minus cos square theta cos square theta now if you look at the proof you ha you need to have a sec square theta in the numerator so let's multiply a sec square theta in the numerator and in the denominator So that means 2 sec square theta by sin square theta into sec square theta. That gives you tan square theta and cos square theta into sec square theta. That gives you 1. So that will be the answer. That is the right hand side. So this is how we can prove the questions related to the trigonometrical identities. We used to have a lot of questions based on this. So let's try the next one, which is given. one plus one by tan square theta one plus one by cot square theta equals to one by sine square a minus sine power 40. so we have to simplify this one by tan square theta so we can write it as one plus cot square theta and that can be written as one plus tan square theta so it means 1 plus cot square theta is equals to cosec square theta into 1 plus cot tan square theta into equals to sec square theta and that is equals to 1 by sin square theta and 1 by cos square theta. Now if you look at the proof, everything needs to be converted into sine. So 1 by sine square theta 
into 1 by 1 minus sine square theta that is equals to sine square theta minus sine power 4 theta so that's true that is what the RHS is cos theta by 1 minus tan theta plus sin theta by 1 minus cot theta equals to sin theta plus cos theta. So cos theta by 1 minus tan theta plus sin theta by 1 minus cot theta. We have to prove it is sin theta plus cos theta. So what we can do here, we can convert the tan and cot into sine and cos so that will give you cos square theta by cos theta minus sine theta sine square theta by sine theta minus cos theta so that will give you if I consider cos theta minus sin theta as the LCM, it will give you cos square theta minus sin square theta. So you just apply the a square minus b square formula in the numerator. by cos theta minus sin theta. This just get cancelled. It will give you cos theta plus sin theta as the answer. So this is the question how we can prove it Cos theta, cosec theta minus by cosec theta minus 1 plus cosec theta by cosec theta plus 1. We have to prove it is 2 sec square theta. So what we can do, we will be taking the LCM here. So that will give you cosec square theta minus 1 by cosec square theta plus cosec theta plus cosec square theta minus cosec theta. So that gives you 2 cosec square theta by 1 plus cot square theta minus 1. So that gives you 2 cosec square theta by cot square theta. Now, 2 cosec square theta can be written as 2 by sine square theta into sine square theta by cos square theta. This and this get cancelled, it gives you 2 sec square theta. So that's what proves. Next question is given.
sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta by 2 cos, cos cube theta minus cos theta equals to tan theta. So that means it is, uh, if you take sin theta common, is 1 minus 2 sin square theta. And if you take cos theta common, it is 2 cos square theta minus 1. So that means it is sin theta by <coughs> 1 minus 2 sin square theta. That gives you 2 cos square theta minus 1 by 2 cos square theta minus 1. So this and this get cancelled. It left with sin theta. So that's what we have to prove but here also we have a cos theta so sin theta by cos theta that gives you tan theta so that's what I need to prove next question One plus tan square a by one plus cot square a equals to one minus tan a by one minus cot a whole square equals to tan square a. We need to prove. So one minus tan square a is sec square a, and one minus cot square a is cosec square a. That gives you tan square a. And in other case, it is given one minus tan one minus tan a whole square by 1 minus cot a the whole square given so that gives you cos a square a cos a minus sin a the whole square cos a minus sin a the whole square by cos sin cos a square a and in the same way it gives you sin a minus cos a the whole square by sin a so sin square a this is whole square given this and this get cancelled you get you are getting tan square a as the answer so both the cases we proved it is equals to tan square a so this is how the trigonometrical ratios question can be solved using the identity okay you have to memorize all the three basic identities and you have to memorize the trigonometrical table in order to solve this type of questions okay thank you for joining the station